Yep. All right, bet. So, so you can send people to sharksbasketball.com. They go to the Eventbrite page to sign up for the Chicago tryout, and they enter Billy at checkout, and it'll knock 75 bucks off. Bet. Okay. All right. So I'm, I, as soon as you send me that flyer, I'm going to start pushing that because the no. same day I'm having my um my, my flyer, no, uh, my, my giveaway. Done. Appreciate you, man. Uh, no, I appreciate you, Tyler, man. Appreciate you reaching out to me, man. We're going to hey, get it cracking. Uh, I'm, uh, after that tryout, I'm sneaking in a game of one-on-one with you. Ah, uh, man. It's you you, you want to lose all your confidence like that? Uh, I'm, I'm coming. Uh, man, I've been retired for six months. You're going to be put to shame if I beat you. Uh, ain't no pressure on me. <laughs> I'm, playing, I'm retired. I'm playing with house money. You can't let some old man beat you. Uh, the house ain't going to win then. <laughs> what are you talking about, nigga? Know who you talking to? <laughs> oh man, we we gonna see if you've been in the weight room. We gonna see. Hey, weight room ain't got nothing. I got these buckets for you. How about that? <laughs> yeah, you gotta have to play some defense. We'll see. I'll, I'll do that too. So I, I, I just beat. Hey, look, I just beat some twenty-two year olds Tuesday. A, a team full of them. They got all the jelly. Got all the sauce. Two-year-old soft rook. I, I, I'm, I'm as wide leave a veteran as you are. Uh, yeah. I'm sitting there holding up the entire game for four minutes so I can catch a breath, wiping up the invisible wet spot on the other end of the court. <laughs> I, know, I, know, I know the vet moves. I know. <laughs> you, you, you know I foul, right? Let me get off this phone. We'll call you back, though. <laughs> hey, I'll talk, to you, I'll talk to you soon, bro. Thank you again. All right, for sure. All right, see you. Yeah. Gets the 15, stripped by Jarrell, outlet feed 1-0, on and Billy Baptist will baptize everyone here with a windmill slam. Absolutely filthy. My man. Look, I'm going to put that motherfucker down there. Did you see how I shot him? I, 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 I appreciate it. Listen, I'm waiting for you to make your noise. That's all I'm going to wait. That's, 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 that's how you feel. Well, yo. <laughs> you want me to do it? You go kick it off? I'll do it. Yeah. Yeah. Let's get it, bro. Yeah. Damn. Come on. Let's get it. Come on. Really Come want on, us man. today. Look at that kid. Man. It's the All Air Show. Yeah. Yeah. Got your boy yeah. Billy Baptist here today. Yeah. It legend introduced himself. That's what we're talking about. I am your boy Hollywood Harwell. Yeah. Y'all know we got the, the brokest. Yeah. The dustiest. Yeah. But the coldest DJ. Yeah. Hey. Bro, Dust, what it do? Chilling, my boy. Feeling good? Like a villain. There you go. On penicillin. That's the same. That little, that little yeah. riddling. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Whoa. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Yeah. Good, my boy. <laughs> Smitty. Aaron. Damn, we got what Smitty, up? we got Aaron, we got Harwell. We got, we got Aaron bro. the cameraman. We got a motherfucking, Smitty the legend. motherfucking legend in the building, bro. Bill Bap in this place today. Oh, five. Oh, hey. Bill B. My boy Bill B, what it do, bro? How you feeling, man? I'm well, man. I'm glad y'all had me on the show today. Man, you know, I know you introduced yourself, but usually we have a little intro to bring you in. So if you could for me, go ahead and tell them your name, your oh. nickname. Hold on, it's a little list. Your name. Your nicknames, your Zodiac, Android, or iPhone. All right, so I'm Billy Baptist. Uh, played professional yeah. basketball for 11 yeah. years. <laughs> uh, nine different countries. Damn. NBA side, a little bit. NBA G League. Nickname is Wild Bill. Wild Definitely Bill. Wild Bill. Bill. <laughs> uh, Zodiac sign, Leo. Oh, Makes man. sense. Yeah. Makes sense. Yeah. And what else? Oh, oh, I'm an iPhone. Man. Yeah, I'm, like, man, I'm, I'm an iPhone G. Like, yeah, hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm here with the uh, iPhone. He, he got his Dell over here and his Android. I'm, this iPhone, I, I'm trying to be kind of compatible. Hey, hey, to the thousand, the thousand plus of you, my Dell, every every month. <laughs> I appreciate you. Thank you. Hey, hey, now, hey, this hey, Dale, this Dale, Dale is for you. Dale, Dale lives matter also. <laughs> <That's hilarious. laughs> That's the only non-iPhone thing on this set. Man, look, but before we get started, I want to make sure we get a quick shout out. Behind us, we got the Smitty apparel. So if y'all, you got you, you good? We're good. 
We got the Smitty apparel. And uh, you can check that out. You can come out here. Clippers of Caviar. Catch Smitty on Facebook. Smitty, Smitty, Smitty. That's three times. Uh, Instagram is Smitty, Smitty, Smitty. Yeah. Oh, Smitty underscore 1984. Smitty underscore 1984 on Instagram. Definitely want to check it out. Got way more colors. Holla at my boy Smitty. That's right. Why you try to, why you try to fit me in a shirt earlier? They yeah, my belly all out there, thank God. I told For you, real? you, yeah. No, you oh, I'm, I'm, size, I'm taking size? one of these shirts, Smitty. Huh? What size? Yeah, Smitty. Size, I told I'm you taking one of these shirts. I'm, I'm your walking boy. I got into those, but yeah. it wasn't. It was tight. That was in. You finna get loose though. So yeah, I lost a little weight, but we are gonna talk about yeah, that later. You finna get loose. We gonna man. talk about that later. We got Billy here, man. This ain't about us. So before we even get started about your life and everything going on with you, because you know we love to ask questions. You got something going on. You got a special drive going on. You want to give a little shout out? Yeah. So we doing a holiday giveaway. Uh, I'm blessing 25 families with a whole Christmas meal. And we talking about turkey. Mm -hmm. I got ham. Uh, I got dressing, uh, macaroni salad, rolls. Hey, we're going to bless 25 families. That's love. With a meal. Y'all got to cook it, though. <laughs> but we're going to give you all the ingredients to cook it. Right. But then on the, on the flip side of it, I definitely got coats, hats, scarves, gloves that I'm giving out and school uniforms for the kids. That's love. Yes, sir. So what, when when is this happening? This is going to be December 17th Okay, are at you, the high school. Are you taking donations for this? I, I will. I, I welcome all donations. Where can they reach you at? Uh, B5 Star Foundation. That's the name of my non-profit organization. Uh, so you can hit us on Instagram. You can hit us on Facebook. You can call us direct. All that. Or you, you can go to B5 Star Foundation at Gmail and reach us. Like we got emails, we got all that. We, we legit. Very nice. Very and, nice. The, and you know, after that though, we haven't actually gonna have a pro workout. Uh, the San Diego Sharks are actually coming in from San Diego. I got like three of their GMs coming in from San Diego to host a pro workout at the Kankakee High School. My boy Billy, what's up, man? My boy and Bill. They offer they 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 they're able to offer contracts and housing to move to San Diego to uh, pursue a professional career. That's dope, though, man. That's love, especially out here. Yeah, cause we need it for sure. Yeah, That's so I, I'm trying to get people out of King Key. I, I love King Key. Yeah, don't mean you need to yeah. leave, leave, but I want you to see it's some a whole world to see. Yeah, yeah, it's a whole world. And San Diego, beautiful. Yeah, you know so. We got some things cooking, man. Y'all come out December 17th at Kanky High School. What time? Uh, the giveaway going to be from 9 to 12. The okay. workout going to be from 2 to 4. Got it. Gotcha. December 19th now. Just December so you, 17th. 17th. And just so you know, we're going to have you say that like 50 times. So if you feel us going that way, you just take it. Yeah. So I'm good. good. I, I was born for this. So, uh, hey, you you came through. You started the show. You were strong. I thought this was my show. It, <laughs> you want to ask yourself the question? <laughs> I pull out the way. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? No, we good. Aside, let's, no, no, do, do your thing. I, I, I ain't going to take over. <laughs> Dustin, let's uh, No, you good, bro. Let's call it, let's the all in show. Yeah, so it's all, I'm all in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm all, go all in, you I'm, win. I'm, I'm, come on now. All, all in, you win. win. Hell yeah. Hey, remember? Yeah, time. What's your call, son? Man, you got a Pisces, boy. Hey, you're a Pisces. It's 05 over here. I also want to say this. So I live in the city, right? And I've seen homeless people with these frozen turkeys, and I'm trying to figure it out. <laughs> so if you're what? giving out these turkeys, bro, make sure you're giving it to homeless people. Where they go cook it at? So that's another thing I was just talking about with man Smith. Bro, with. it's literally in the city. I've been seated them on the highway. Yeah. Old, old, turkey. <laughs> old turkeys trying to sell them. <laughs> <laughs> they can't hey, Smitty just told me that I'm trying to reach families that really need it. And sometimes oh, families man. that really need it can't cook it. Bro. So this year I'm doing it this way, but next year. You I'm gonna rock with my man Smitty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, yeah. Hey, hey, hey. What they call it, a friends giving? They used to call it a friends, a friends giving. You know, like so we we, we gonna do a, a community giving. A community Christmas. I like that. We're gonna do a community Christmas. And we're gonna cook the food and we're gonna have it, but that's gonna be next year. Yeah, this yeah. year, I'm going to give you all the ingredients to cook it. Right. Next year, we're going to cook it all for you and bring it to you. You got a year to learn how to cook to help them out. I mean, we can find people, too. 
No, that was no, real quick. They said that's all. They can five people. We can five people to cook, cuz. But you mean, you don't want to learn to cook? We had a cooking show. We done had like three chefs Bro. on the show. We can well, show. I get down. We can have Billy. I, I get down, boy. You know I, I deep fry turkeys. I, I grill I turkeys. Look, 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 I put look. turkeys in the oven. <laughs> I'm going to tell you this. It ain't going to be edible. It's going to be like... No, it's, it's going to be edible. <laughs> especially if they can't cook it nowhere else. <laughs> shit. But God you got to have it. a little patience you with this, huh? <laughs> Y'all better come help me, shit. <laughs> Somebody help, Somebody please. Help. After that, we'll be good. <laughs> Someone please call that one. one. <laughs> it's going to be edible. Hey, shout out to King Key. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Always. Yeah. You know, that's what, hey, born and raised here. That's what we do. Speaking yes, of born and raised in King Key. When did you realize that you were actually really good at basketball? That possibly was my junior. If you lie, I'm going to call you out. Go ahead. That was my junior year of high school. Okay. I agree. So junior year of high school, I was the girls' basketball manager. I don't remember that, but that makes sense. So okay. I traveled with the girls' team everywhere they went. and I, was I out of school. And then. I recorded their games. Okay. And I was just talking to my cousin the other day, and he was like, your junior year, you should have made the team. Yeah. But the thing was, I used to vacation down in Mississippi, right. in Pennsylvania. Every summer, my family sent me away to one of my cousins' crib because right. they wanted to kick it for the summer. Right. <laughs> but they sent me to my auntie, my sister. So I never came to the basketball summer stuff. Summer stuff, right. yeah. So wrenching, I'm, I was good. Shout out to wrenching. When yeah. your name dropped, right. shout out. Alex Wrenching, shout out to him. Shout That's my high school coach. Whole name. So yeah. Go ahead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He ain't just suicides. wrenching no more. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, um, I didn't come to none of the summer stuff, and I understood that. Okay. You know, like you, you got to be committed to the team to actually be a part of the team. That's that's true and fair. Yeah. So he cut me, but that year he cut me. I I didn't put my head down. Right. Yeah. What I did was I went and became the girls' basketball manager, mm -hmm. and I recorded all their games, but I got all the free gym time. Right. So you were dedicated. Right. To all the free gym time. So I'm in the, the gym. When you got to go to the gym. Yeah. Yeah. That shows some dedication, too. You probably seen that on the fly. Like, he can't come in the summer, but during, during at least the season, he at right. least doing something. He over there like Michael Jeffrey. I was saying, with and, the then, and then I grew like five inches. Like five, six I was inches. How you going to have a foot, bro? Boy, I went from like 6'8 to 6'3". You said it backwards. Oh, five, eight, fam, six, look, five, eight, eight, six, three. I went from five, three to like five, eight. So yeah. I thought I was doing something. <laughs> he went from five, eight to like six, three. Yeah, I went five, eight to six, three. And fam, then my over senior the summer, year. Over like months. Yeah. We talked like three, four months. Was that yeah. weird, bro, for you? Like, the, I really didn't notice it. Yeah. Like, I literally just, it happened. Yeah. I was always hooping. Right. I always played football, basketball, and baseball. Yeah. Right. Baseball happened to be my best sport, low key. Yeah. But it just went cool. Yeah. Back in our time. Right, 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 right. You know, like, yeah. I, I could have been a professional baseball player. But instead, I became a professional basketball player. Yeah. Football was my favorite sport because I could hit people. Yeah. I, I had an anger issue back then. Back when you was at, what was the name of that community college? Uh, Illinois Central College. Illinois Central College. Yep, oh, that's yeah. in Peoria. Shout I out. I took you down there, remember? Shout, Shout out, out to Coach uh, Weisinger, Tony Weisinger, I took man. you down there for your first visit with them, if you remember that. No, my brother did. You came for the second one. It was the second one, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. My brother took me for the first one. And it was so was. crazy, though. So, look, I went down to Illinois Central College in Peoria, East Peoria. Okay. So, before I went there, I went to Lewis and Clark, which is in, like, uh, St. Louis area. I don't remember that. Okay. Yeah, so I went down there, and Muggs on the team was like, Hey Bill, you, we gonna kill together this year. We gonna be, we, we gonna be rocking. Yeah. You know, I went down there and did my thing. Right, right. So then I went to East Peoria to ICC. Right. And I'm down there killing. I got niggas trying to fight me. I remember that. Muggs like, hey, no, nah, nigga, what the fuck you talking about? I'm gonna beat you. Yeah. Yeah. I, this I, I speak basketball. on here, right? Yeah, yeah. This show, yeah. yeah. Boy, Muggs talking about they about to whoop my ass because I'm cooking them on the court. But you know how that. And then with me, I'm like, all right. Then you. I got people who. At this school, they love me, yeah. and they just want me to be on the team. And I got this time, they gonna challenge me every day. Mm -hmm. Guess where I chose? You went to. Uh, I, 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 yeah, yeah, you I went, got out. Yeah, I went to Illinois Central College. Where they gonna challenge me every day? Right. Because the thing is, if you, I think I would have settled, but right. I didn't want to settle. Right. So I went to that, right. and I'm talking about boy, the best thing happened in my life, and then the worst thing happened to me in my life. Okay. I end up coming up with a, a, a illness. 
Okay. And I had an abscess that grew in the back of my tonsil. I remember that. And I was hospitalized for six and a half months. I remember that. And I, I, I was on that. life support for a week. Like, literally, I had catheters in me. I had uh, I was on life support. I had a tube in my mouth. Right. Like, I remember them pulling all that stuff out of me. Man. I was down. Like, I, uh, naturally, I'm about 175, 180 when I was playing. Mm-hmm. I went. I dropped down to like one fifteen. Man, I almost six three one fifteen. I almost died. That's crazy. But thing is, that's the testament to what I overcame, though. Right. Because after that, I, I slept with peanut butter by my bed. I'm eating peanut butter, getting my work in. I'm on a Vertimax machine, getting my work in, getting Bro, getting I my hops up. That time I I'm you. I'm lifting what. Well, I don't even know the bar plus twenty five plates on each side. Yeah. And I'm maxing out on that. I don't even post be only like supposed to be lifted. Right. Yeah. yeah. About eighty five. Yeah. yeah. But the thing is, that it, it made me who I am. Right. It gave me my drive. Man. Like, I wasn't even out of the hospital. I'm trying to fight teammates and I can't even get no playing time. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Motherfucker tell me I, I can't get in the free throw line. You That's mad. the only thing I can get in. Right. Like, oh, we're gonna fight this. <laughs> but the same time is it, it got me to where I was. So, so the next year I came out. Man, we had five preseason All Americans on our team. Five. Of them. Say that again. Five preseason All Americans. I'm talking about. We got Brandon Lee. Shout out to Brandon Lee. Shout out. Uh, Jeff Wires. Shout, shout out. out for sure. They they both won state championships with Sean Livingston at Peoria yeah, Central. Peoria, okay. Really? Yeah, Livingston did. Two two times in a row. And they was on my team. Then I had De'Aaron Williams from Limestone. No, he went to uh, no, he went to Limestone. Shout out. Shout out. Shout out. Uh, he, he actually was at Wisconsin, and he transferred back wow. to us. And then we had a 6'8", six, 6'9", six, actually, Chinese guy. Okay. Shane okay. Ping. Shout out. Shout out to Mr. Ping. Yeah. Yep, shout out to Mr. Ping. I, I, I linked up with him when I played in China. Yeah. So we still have okay. the rapport. That's crazy. So you went to school, you played, and obviously, what, did you, what was the next step? I shouldn't say obviously. What right. was the next step after college? I went pro, but thing is, like I, I majored, I graduated first. Shout out to that man. That's big. Shout, Shout out, out. Away from my man. Quincy University. Quincy University with a bachelor's in sports promotion and a minor in graphic design and public relations. So I got that degree. Yeah. So all the kids out there, make sure y'all get y'all degrees. Make sure y'all go to class. Make sure y'all pass y'all class. That's when you're supposed to yell it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I'll make sure he got it all out. I'm best with yeah. you, bro. But um, so I went to uh, Illinois Central College for two years. And mm-hmm. my second year there, I end up getting player of the year in the conference, player of the year in the region. Right. I led the nation in shooting percentage. Damn. I shot 64% on the year. That's pretty good. That's I mean, a- 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 averaging is 15 points. How many and, and eight rebounds. How many attempts did you shoot a game? Do you remember? I don't remember what I attempted a game, yeah. but I'll let you know this. I only shot about four threes on the year. Everything else was all dunks. Right. <laughs> all dunks. Right, right. I'm talking about we, we, we picking mugs up 94 feet. You better have some handles. Yeah. You ain't got no handles. You a drunk. We taking that and we throwing lobs. <laughs> Like I said, I have I have five preseason All Americans on my team. I remember when I went so, down there with you. At, but thing is, I got the MVP, and there's five preseason All Americans on our team. Right. I earned a starting spot. I earned after being sick, after learning how to walk again. Right. Because I was 115, I had to get back up to 185, back to playing status. After I did that, so you was basically the Bruce Lee of, of basketball. Man, bro, came back. Yeah. Came back. Yeah. As I come back. <laughs> hey, don't call it a comeback. Man, it's, it's a... So what was I've it? been trying to say this. Let me say this real quick. I've been here for a minute. When, when I took him down there, bro, so you know, I don't know. I know how I don't know much about nothing at this time, right? Yeah. I'm, I'm just a party guy. In my mind, I'm like, yeah, Billy down here, we for the party. That's all I'm worried about, right? That coach was talking to Billy. He was like, yeah, I'm going to put six inches on your vertical. I'm going to put you on this machine. We're going to stretch your knees. I said, he's going to stretch your knees. <laughs> Billy, Billy fall out laughing. He said, yeah, we're going to stretch his knees. Billy, don't let him stretch your knees. Don't, <laughs> that don't sound right. Don't let him stretch your knees. Well, they, 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 they stretch my knees. <laughs> <laughs> when they stretch my knees, yeah. boy, I, I went to a like damn near a 45-inch vertical. Damn. 
So I had never heard of that. Stretch of the D. And then after that, I went to UIC downtown. Okay. And I was there with an Olympic trainer. And my thing is, I ain't letting nobody break me. Okay. If we working, we working. Right, right, right. Oh, shout out to Chris Calmis. My boy. Shout out. Shout out. Uh, on, on for oh. real, though, because after I didn't let that trainer break me, I came back home and I played for the Kent Key County Soldiers. Okay. Sure, sure. And I met Chris Calmis. And literally, I was in his gym four, five days a week. Right. And you can't break me. I'm not letting you break me. Right. I don't care if I, I'm broke. Right. I ain't broke. Right. Oh, God. <laughs> right. I'm going to work. Yeah. And that turned my whole level up a whole different style. Chris then then I monster. stayed like Chris a monster. Yeah. That's my guy. Yeah, I just talked Shout to out to him again. Yeah. Shout out. <laughs> That's my mentor. Chris Calmees, sure. man. If you, hey, y'all need Dude. some work for y'all kids, go to Chris Calmees. He in the mall right here yeah. on 50 in Kent yeah. Key. What was that, Bourbon A? Yeah, Bourbon That's Bourbon yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, that's Bourbon A. It it's, it's Bradley, but it's okay. That area, Bradley. But we ain't gonna go through that. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Tomatoes, I know tomatoes. what I said. He's gonna get me. <laughs> tomatoes, he tomatoes. Me. You know, I'm at work. I gotta do it. <laughs> <laughs> no, but you know, he got me right. Yeah. And thing is, I love him. It's my boy. And at the end of the day, though, he got me more athletic. Yeah. When he got me more athletic, then I started being in the gym 24/7, mm -hmm. working on my jump shot. I'm talking about a thousand shots a day. Yeah. Two thousand shots a day. It took off. Boy, I had one of my 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 co uh my one of my high school teammates. Mm -hmm. Uh, shout out to Marcus Love. Marcus, shout out, my boy, shout out. I like Marcus. That's Man, he used to come to the gym with me. He played football. He never played basketball. Mm -hmm. But he used to foul me. Like literally, I come to the hole for a layup, and his job was to foul me. So you can learn how to score through the foul. Yeah, and. and, and he took pride in this shit. Right. <laughs> I would too. So many remember them days. I'm talking about he was effing me what? up. You hear me? I'm going to the hall. This nigga, he getting me elbows in the face. He, he knocking me down on the ground. Right. But it taught me how to finish over contact. Right. At the end, it taught me how to finish around contact. Right. So then when I got in, in a live game setting... Nigga, you you ain't two twenty five, <laughs> right? Right. Foul him. He is a big boy. You, you yeah. like you like one seven. What is this foul? Yeah, and you ain't trying to tackle me, right? Is exactly. that you jumped at me? Oh, you messed up. I'm gonna finish on you, right? Right. Uh, so from UIC, uh, I went to Quincy and I graduated. Like I said, shout out to the graduation, shout bachelor's out. degree. Shout out. You, you definitely gotta get your degree, man. Hey, the sports gonna use you. Use the sports to get what you need. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like facts. Uh, the goal is to get a scholarship, but when you get that scholarship, the goal is to graduate. So, what got you overseas? How did you get that way? So, like I said, I graduated in uh, sports promotion. Okay. So, doing sports promotion, I realized I needed to get myself out there because I was promoting myself. Right. So, I made a hundred copies of of three full game tapes and one highlight tape. And my basketball resume from what I did in college. Right. And I sent that out to a hundred agents. Like, look, I spent my own money. Somebody, right. I spent my Put own money and got the highlight tapes, got the full game tapes, right. and put them in vanilla envelopes. Mm, right. And wrote the address out on it wow. to a hundred different agents. I had about five agents hit me back. And from there, they shot me around Europe. And my first contract, I went to Spain. And I was in the top league in Spain, the ACB. To me, it was surreal. Like, I couldn't believe it. Like, literally, I went from college to going to Spain. That's cold. Living on the coast. Like, I was in Malaga, Spain. Okay. Played for Unicaja. If y'all look it up, they still an organization. They still alive. Shout out Unicaja. Shout it out. And... Literally, I live between the ocean and the mountain. Mm. So for a whole year, I didn't see no snow. At that point right there, you know, you know, we're from Kane Key, from Chicago yeah. area, Midwest. Yeah. We see snow and it get cold every yeah. year. Yeah. Every year. Boy, I'm in, I'm in Spain like in the middle of December. Confused. Like, oh, oh shit. No, I ain't got no, no coat on. No. I ain't got to put my snowsuit on like Smitty. <laughs> 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 I 
Yeah. I was like, dang. Yeah, I, I can live this life. This is what I want. Right. Right. So uh, I did a good year there. After that year, I stayed in Spain for another year, a half a season. And I was at uh, Mendresa by, um, uh, by Madrid. Okay. And literally, I kicked it with the whole Madrid uh, football or soccer. Soccer, there you go. Whatever you, you know, yeah, whatever football. y'all call it. Yeah. Football or soccer. Yeah, football. Yeah. Kicked it with the whole team over yeah. there. They were my people. And then from there, I went to Germany, Iceland, Romania, Saudi Arabia, this man has seen Africa, man. through yeah. basketball, um, Canada. I'm missing one. I'm missing like three. Serbia, Russia, and uh, what's the last one? Come on, come on, come to me. China. Uh, you definitely wasn't China. Yep. I've seen those yep. So I, I've been in nine countries in 11 years. And dope, bro. the thing was, it was surreal. Like every, everywhere I went overseas, like literally, I get treated like a god. Yeah. And the thing is, I'm humble enough to know what I got. Right. So I ain't cocky enough that they don't like it. Right. Because when you in countries like that, if you cocky and you doing too much stuff, they ain't gonna really like you. Right. I was a fan favorite everywhere I went. Like I got I people that. buying my jerseys. Yeah. That's cool. yeah. I'm a people yeah. person. Yeah, you personal. Yeah. yeah. That's dope though, man. You know, that's why I like here, like that's man, that had to be super surreal. Man, like it was love though. Like I, I like I love every bit of it. Like staying in the States now, it's like if it wasn't for the kids that I train now, mm-hmm. I wouldn't want to be in the States. I can understand. Like, I love y'all guys. Like, well, you yeah, know, yeah, we but, appreciate you coming. You know, yeah, but yeah. the thing Come. is, being overseas, having that experience, get to train kids, learning different languages, learning different cultures. Like a lot of people can't say this. I, I've been to the Mecca. Right. I've been to the Black Building. Yeah. Right. I, I drank the holy water that the, that the Muslims praise around the world. Right. And I had the water and didn't know what I had. <laughs> like literally, yeah. more was gonna be a whole three gallons, right? And I'm drinking it like it's just regular water. Like no, 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 that's sacred water. Like sacred water is water, right? Wakanda water. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> Wakanda water. Hey, facts though. Oh, yeah. Wakanda water. <laughs> What's the material for Wakanda? Man, but that uh, what vibranium. Yeah, yeah, I was vibranium. drinking vibranium you just water. Drinking it like it's nothing. <laughs> All your Black Panther power. <laughs> Oh. Had me up here like, ooh. <laughs> <laughs> then I went to Africa, and I had a, 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 a mishap. Is at the table. Okay. At the table. Boy, I had a mishap in uh, Africa. Uh, the power went out in my hotel room like three nights in a row. Mm-hmm. But I'm working hard as hell in workouts, so I'm sweating. But I'm, I wake up in, in a full in a thing full of sweat, sweat. Right. Yeah. because the, the power went out and AC couldn't stay on. Right. So I cramped up over there. And I cramped up so bad, like literally, I cramped up from my legs to my neck. Man, mm. crazy. so this is the second time I had to go. Whole to body Charlie horse. The whole body, tra- man, that shit hurt like a month. Woo! Like I can't even explain how. Did that you get Charlie like, horse? Whole body was just the. High I'm talking about went, yeah, yeah. Whenever I'm when under your neck high cramp high up, yeah, you know it's over with. Yeah, they took me to the hospital, and they gave me some fluids. I had to stay in the hospital for two weeks. So you was dried up. But the thing was, no, they hydrated me. But the thing is, as they hydrate you, when your muscles cramp up like that, and they uncramp, they release toxins in your body. So if you don't get them toxins out, you can have a heart attack. Right. You can have a stroke. Right. You're a high so risk. So they had to, the, yeah, they had to flush me. Right. Mm. Boy, they flushed me. I felt like a new motherfucking man. Oh, I bet. Man, I came back killing. <laughs> <laughs> Billy said, I'm trying to get flushed before every yeah. season. Yeah, let uh, me uh, uh, get flushed before every season. Look, just yeah. go ahead and put me up to the IV right now. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to shoot my free throws. Just go and put it in. <laughs> <laughs> but it, it was a surreal thing. Um, uh, I, I know I said this, uh, but I played in the uh, NBA. I had a tryout with the Utah Jazz. I remember that. Yes, yeah, sir. Uh, I made their team until Derek Favors got hurt that year. When Derek Favors got hurt that year, they – they actually signed Brian Cook for a big versus signing me as a guard. Right. But they sent me on their G League team. And I got player of the year, uh, player of the game like five times okay. in the G League. So I did my thing there. But ultimately, if I wasn't going to make it back to the league right away, uh-huh. I decided to go back overseas. Yeah. Like, I got money overseas, I would assume, too. At that moment. 
Yeah. Now they got two way contracts. Yeah. They paying. They man, they. Yeah. I go back to G League right now. Hey, G League, y'all need me? <laughs> I'm ready. Yeah, they contract. I'm getting buckets still, man. Yeah, they, they, they making more than the average household now. They, they, wow. it's, over, it's over forty now. Wow. Back when I was playing in G League, we was getting fifteen, and it was tax. Damn. So fifteen was gross for the year. You was playing for the love. That was it. Well, I, I was playing know. to get to the league. To get to right. the league, hell yeah. Now that shit like thirty, forty thousand. Right. You know, you damn that fifty five. Uh, let me let go. Let me get that. Now, now you can play <laughs> Look, that. I'll sit on a bench like this all day. <laughs> <laughs> nah, nah, I don't care if I don't get in. No, I know I'm cold. Yeah. Right. But right. I don't care if I don't got to score a bucket. Let well, me get that low. Show out in practice. Yeah. Exactly. So, well, I think that's a good uh, good place to pause it and uh, take a motherfucking break. All in show. Yeah, Bill B, we be back. Y'all yeah. know what it is. <laughs>